it's like that.
let's not get excited here. What you are observing is not the lift travelling at rocket speed, but a floor advancer system. When the lift starts downward, the lift is still at floor 16, but the controller advances the floor selector ahead of the lift's actual position. High speed lifts have to be aware of calls ahead to work out how fast to travel and when to start slowing down. New lifts are run by computers, they still look ahead for calls, but this is hidden in the programming and is not shown on the displays. Mr. Che was so interested in this topic, he has asked his own questions. So, what do you want to know, Mr. Che? What is a floor advancer? It pushes the floor selector ahead of the lift to find calls in advance of the lift reaching the floor. Why do we need it? High-speed lifts need more time to slow down. Why don't all lifts have a floor advance system? Because they don't need it. They don't travel fast enough and can slow down relatively quickly without causing any discomfort to the passengers. What would happen if this Kone lift didn't have one? The lift would have to slow from about 3 meters per second to nothing in a very short time, causing unnecessary discomfort to passengers. It would scare kids in pushchairs and make old people fall over. Why does the floor display change quickly only in old lifts? Relay logic, a mechanical system, not a computer system. Mechanical systems are a lot less flexible. Why does the display go fast than slow? The fast bit is when the advancer moves the floor position three or four floors ahead. When the lift starts to slow down, remember the lift car is still three or four floors behind the indicated position, so the slowing down part seems to take longer. Any more questions? No, I guess. Thank you. Maybe I could do a sketch for you or something. Some further research? No, I guess. Thank you.